Hey everybody, today's 4th of October 2021. In today's video, we're just going to quickly analyze what's going on in the NASDAQ market. We've seen NASDAQ since the last quarter, it's been going up consistently. And later on, on the daily chart, bears appear from nowhere. There was a weak breakout towards the upside, and the candles, the bearish candles, red candles started to increase in quantity. So let's find out what's going on. I'm going to share the screen here. We're going to go to the chart and let's see what's going on. First of all, let's take a big picture. We've been in uptrend for a very, very long time. Okay. But the most important thing that we have here is this area. You see that this area is so vital that if you see, let me draw it for you. First of all, uh, I believe during June, we had a breakout over here. And then the price shot up. It went up and it made some resistance. After making the resistance here, the same breakout area that was a resistance, it turned into a support. Okay. So this is a very challenging area. Now we'll begin to observe. Uh, we'll just scroll the chart and see what's going on. First of all, the major trend is towards the downside at the moment. We are just on the one hour time frame. We've got consistent lower highs. Okay, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower highs. Here, the drops have become more steeper. Then we have lower lows, right? So the major trend is towards the upside. But this box that I have drawn here, it's a reversal zone. Here, the buyers should start stepping in. But unfortunately, that's not happening. So what's the game plan? You can even see that we had the break of the low and a wick has been formed here. You see that? Now, do we have a W? Now, we know that the fall towards the downside, it's limited. Now, for those who are new, they're watching this video for the first time, I would recommend that you see my video on historical crashes in NASDAQ. At the same time, it's very normal for NASDAQ to fall 8% from the highest point. So this was the highest point approximately. And if you use the measuring tool and we stretch it towards the downside, this is almost an 8%. Now the market should start fading anytime soon. Now we have two, the last two hours, they, are, they have been the current hour and the previous hour, they have been really aggressively bearish. We have lower lows and the market broke the low of all the previous weeks, you know. So all what we can do is just wait for the market to reach exhaustion point and probably look for a W pattern. Either a W should appear here at the same area. You know, we might see a bounce here and then whole move towards the upside. But the challenge that's really going to be is the previous week's high, high, which is around this area. So these areas are important. This is a resistance and you have a resistance here. If we see the market shooting up from this area towards the upside, okay, then we can say, you know, market is trying to be stable. Bears have been exhausted. But let's accept the fact the reality is we are in a downtrend, short term and medium term. Long term, if you see the NASDAQ index, the actual NASDAQ index, we've been always in the upside zone. Another thing, what I probably see maybe the worst case scenario is this area here, 13,802. It is possible that the market can drop around this area as well, you know, it may come here and then exhaust and start pushing towards the upside. All right. So thank you for watching. Please note, this is my personal opinion only. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. I'm not a licensed trader or a broker. I don't have any certification, just a hobby based uh, trader, part-time trader who likes uh, doing some technical analysis. So if you decided to take risk, you are yourself liable. You know, this video that we've done right now, it's only for educational and information purpose only. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it on your social media screen. Yeah, in your so on your social media wall. And for any comments, if you may have, you can leave it in the comment box. Have a great trading week ahead and bye bye for now.